Hello kids, today we will discuss the last part of the chapter digestive system. Our today's topic is the assimilation of food that is the utilization of food. In my previous video I have explained the process of absorption of the digested food and how the digested food reaches to the liver. Now, in this part, I will explain what happens to that food over here in the liver. Our body converts the absorbed, digested food into the body material. Now, see how. Through the hepatic portal vein, liver receives simple sugars. Uh, like uh, glucose, fructose, galactose and minerals, vitamins, etc. Since the liver is a multitasker gland, it converts excess glucose into the insoluble glycogen, which can be temporarily stored. And whenever our body requires it, it reconverts the insoluble glycogen into soluble glucose. Glucose provides energy, energy to the body cells and glucose helps uh, in synthesizing of certain compounds as well. Now, amino acids. Uh, amino acids they are the building blocks of proteins. Uh, so body uses them to form different kind of proteins. But what about extra amount of amino acids? However, our body cannot store excess of amino acids. Remember, again our largest gland liver uh, plays an important role role. It breaks down excess of amino acids into glucose and urea. This process is called as the deamination. This glucose is either used by the body cells to provide energy or is stored in the liver as the glycogen and urea being a toxic substance is eliminated from the body by the help of kidneys. Yeah, eliminated in the form of urine. Fatty acids and glycerol are the end products of fats and are used in the synthesis of certain compounds. And excess of fats are deposited mainly below the skin or uh, around visceral organs in the small quantity, okay, like heart, kidneys. Uh, do you know what are visceral organs? Um, organs, those lie within the body cavity, either it is chest cavity or abdomen cavity. So now your chapter is over kids, revise it nicely. Thank you.